to the vlog. Vlog. Yeah. Hello, vlog. I love it. Y'all say hello to the vlog. Becky, look at the camera. Say hello to the vlog. Say hello to the vlog. Yes, I love it. Uh, once again, I missed a whole week of gym, so. A whole week? It's been three, dog. I haven't worked. I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna be like this, like really freaking like weird vlogger. Not not I weird, but it. like you know, like no, but it's so well, and that's what I believe in is like if you have several people on your Instagram and in mm -hmm. your posts, and that you're like posting shit together. When people are in it, they're gonna comment. April commented, yeah. "Thanks for the cameo." Oh my gosh, blah, blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? And so you have all these people that are involved, mm -hmm. and we're like, I see me. My thing is like. I really wanted to start this vlog, like vlog, not just to like put content out on a regular basis, but a lot of people don't think that they can run their own business while working like nine to five. Oh my gosh, you're so and right. so I'm like, you know what? I'm busting my ass every day doing it, and I'm like, you know what? People, this could help someone feel, feel encouraged to actually Absolutely. go out and do their their own thing on the side. For sure, and I really think that it's important to not put the pressure on your business to have mm -hmm. it paying your bills from the get-go when you're yep. starting from scratch. Mm -hmm. I love the idea of still either working full-time and starting it on the side until you can kind of meet your paycheck mm -hmm. or you have savings of expenses saved up or whatever. Not because you deserve top dollar, you get what you pay for, yada yada. Yeah. I feel like I agree with um, you. check the camera and see what that big truck sounds like because I feel like this is actually valuable information that we might want to like repeat that. Yesterday didn't um it, it, it won't airdrop into my computer, so I don't know why. What so I don't know what the hell was happening. Hmm. You know, I'm shooting it in like whatever iPhone is, is calling 4K, so we'll see what happens. Well, I was shooting the first 30 seconds of this and it wasn't actually recording because I never hit the button. <laughs> so, you know, there's and always that. Like someone's like mom. And you, I know, I like, seriously. How does this like, work again? What do I do with this thing? I'll be practicing and then we'll just. Okay. Um, ready? So I'm just going to say. Um, are you sending email newsletters but aren't getting the result you want? I'm Jamara Diggs, and I'm going to show you how to get your first quality email subscriptions. Yay! Okay, but um, and then I'm just going to go into. So I was just getting ready for bed, and I check check my email, and I um just landed a client, so I'm really happy about that, and um she just. She's so excited and she's really pushing for um, like success and she's happy that I can be there to help her along the way with her branding and marketing. But then she um, she asked me for some questions to um, that she should ask herself whenever she feels like af whenever she feels like she may be a little bit, bit afraid to um, get out of her comfort zone. And when I got that, I was like, I was like, geez, why is she asking me that? Like, I'm not some I'm not like, you know, like a, a guru in getting out of your comfort zone. I mean, I'm living that right now. Like, I mean, I'm doing things right now that I that I don't feel comfortable doing, but I have to do it. And then like kind of a a switch went on in my head and saying, well, I know the answer to it actually. And so I just wanted to record this thing and kind of record the questions that I 
gave her and the questions that I kind of process in my head. And um, there are like seven questions that I ask myself whenever I um, think that I'm getting afraid to get out of my comfort zone. And so like the first one is, am I not, do I not want to do it because it's wrong or do I not, or, or do I not want to do it because I'm afraid? And if I'm just afraid, then I just have to do it because I have to be fierce. Because I don't know, I feel like everyone knows that when you want to like kind of start your own business, you don't know in anything. Everything is unknown and we just have to keep on pushing forward. We have to start finding those answers by going and doing what we're so afraid to do. The second question that I ask myself is, if I don't do it, am I going to regret it? And if I didn't start my YouTube channel, if I didn't start vlogging and doing my, um, you know, kind of sharing like my journey um, of starting my own business with people, I kind of feel like I would regret it because I know that, that, that there are people out there just like me that think that they can't work a nine to five job and start their own business and be happy to kind of do their passion in I kind of want to show people that it's possible because I'm doing it and I'm getting out of my comfort zone and I'm talking to myself on the camera and I am doing videos on YouTube. I'm hiring um, videographers and, and photographers and graphic designers and content writers to help me grow my business. So, um, and at first I thought that I just had to, had to do it myself. And another thing is like, why should I be doing this? Like, what is like, what is the benefit? Like, why do I want to do it so bad? Um, and another one is, what would my mentor tell me to do? Whenever I do anything, I process it and I say, what would my mentor want me, me to do? And if the answer is to do it, then I, then, then I do it. The fifth one is like, what's the worst that could happen? Like, I mean, what is the absolute worst? Like sometimes we just get in our own heads and the outcome is actually like something that could really help our business and, like, and not hurt it. So just go and do it. Just go ahead and take that next step. The sixth one is like, am I, it, it, well, it kind of goes with the fifth one. Like, am I just overthinking it? Um, a lot of times I do a lot of stuff that I start planning and planning and planning. And then I just say, you know, oh, why am I planning so much? I plan so much that sometimes I don't accomplish the goals that I want to do. So sometimes like I just have to like, put it out there and just do it. Um, uh, and the final one is like, you know, um, how will I feel afterward? A lot of times, you know, like I did not want to start a YouTube channel. I did not want to, um, well, start, you know, I was afraid to start a YouTube channel. I was afraid to do two videos at once today. I was afraid to go out there and ask a videographer to spend their time with me and um, record me speaking and giving marketing tips in front of a camera. Um, but after I did it today, I love it and I want to keep on doing it. I want to, I like providing value to people and I like to share what I know and kind of help people live their dream because I'm trying to live mine. So, um, yeah, that, I mean, those are about seven, seven questions that I asked myself that I shared, shared with her. And so I kind of want to just share it with y'all and see what you guys would think about it. Um, so yeah. I sent, so now I sent that email and now I am going to sleep and yeah.